Good morning, church. Good morning. Today is Sunday, February 27, 2022, the eighth Sunday in Ordinary Time. Jesus, the teacher, presents lessons as insightful today as they were when he taught his disciples 2,000 years ago. In a few days, we will be beginning the season of Lent, when we will be reminded of the lessons Jesus taught us as he anticipated his eventful death. But today, as we hear Jesus in the course of his ministry, teaching every day wisdom for ordinary times in our lives, as we transition from ordinary time to Lent, let us relearn the lessons that guide us at any time of the year. Please be mindful to secure your masks and also silence your cell phones so we don't disturb this mess. Please stand and let us greet our celebrant, Father Andrew.
Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that the course of our world may be directed by your peaceful rule, and that your church may rejoice untroubled in our devotion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. But thanks be to God, 
who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brothers and sisters, be firm, steadfast, always fully devoted to the work of the Lord, knowing that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Jesus told his disciples a parable. Can a blind person guide a blind person? Will not both fall into a pit? No disciple is superior to the teacher, but when fully trained, every disciple will be like his teacher. That is taken from the Gospel reading this morning, the Gospel of St. Luke. Christ wanted us to know that 
we cannot give what we do not have. It's from the much that we have that we can help others. From the much we have that we can help others. I will, I will borrow a, a language, knowledge from the spiritual care circle. It is used by Rachel Naomi. Say, helping to help, fixing to fix, and serving to serve are three different ways of seeing life. Ways of being present to someone. How do you want to be present? There is a way we are present to somebody. He said that we are helping. He said that we are fixing. He said that we are serving. When you help, you see life as weak, very weak. When you fix, you see life as broken. When you serve, you see life as a whole. Fixing and helping, fixing and helping may be the work of the ego. Fixing and helping may be the work of the ego. Okay? I am an expert in this area. And service is the work of the soul. To be of service to somebody is the work of the soul. So Christ is inviting you and me to be compassionate. So how do I want to be present? To be compassionate. Compassionate presence. To be present compassionate. That is what fosters connection. Two people can be sitting together. Yeah. They are seated. They can even be laughing. <laughs> but there is no connection between two of them. There is no connection between two of them. And too bad if your expectations are so high and you'll be like, wow, he disappointed me. Then she disappointed me because there is no connection. It is unfortunate. That is the situation of life. So you may want to know how is Christ present? Just look at him on the cross. How is he present in our life? I've said it before here that if you go and anybody asks you, how was the mass today? Wow. Jesus Christ is present. Is present. You may not, you may have one or two criticisms, but one thing is this, that is sure. Jesus is present. So the awareness, the consciousness of that presence make, makes the difference. So this is a vocation. And we must be ready to spend our gifts, our time, strength, knowledge, skills with others. As I said before, I, I, I work in the hospital as a chaplain. Okay? My work as a chaplain is to say, I am not a medical doctor. I cannot give what I do not have. So the medical doctor is there to fix. I am not there to fix. So I am not there to be talking about ibuprofen. For God's sake. <laughs> somebody can kill somebody. I am there to be present, to listen, to listen, to empathize. To say, is it my work alone as a priest? No. The day you were baptized, and you were baptized, you have been given a power, a gift. You are now a disciple. You became you were you were confirmed. You became an adult Christian. Then you have that power. It is in you. So it is for us. We are called to be. Compassionate. It is a gift. It's already given to you. 
Jesus is already with you. He's always present with you. You have the spirit of sonship. That is why you are a child of God. The power is there. The only thing is to go to the, to the self, connect to the self, and use it, and be there. Unfortunately, we are not aware. And you see, how will a blind person help another blind person? A blind person in a pathetic situation is already vulnerable. So how am I going to help with ego? No. We have to bring Christ into what we do and surrender ourselves. We become vulnerable. To help you, I have to be vulnerable too. I have to lower myself. I have to come down. I have to be humble. I have to share with you. To become one with you. To become connected is very, very important. So, how has I suffered with humanity? There are lots of them. We can, so many, uncountable. But let us take one. The man suffered from a dreaded skin disease. Approached Jesus, said, If you want to, if you want to, you can make me clean. And Jesus stretched out his hands and touched him. He was not supposed to touch him. In fact, you were supposed to maintain a distance. Because if you touch him, you become like him. To touch him is to become one with him. And this man was already, is a leper. You understand what? Now, Jesus Christ, he said, I do want to. After healing the man, he told him to go and show himself to the priest for examination and offer the sacrifice as Moses ordered. Christ listened to him, talked to him, touched him, became even vulnerable. To touch him is to become vulnerable. Because, you know these days, when you sneeze once, it's pardoned. The moment you sneeze the second time, it's like, what? That must be coronavirus. Now, oh me crop. Oh me what? Now it's only something. Now, anybody who identifies with you, what is it? You have to stay at home. Anybody who stays, you have to also stay 14 days, 7 days, or whatever it is. You become vulnerable. So he became vulnerable. And Christ advocated for him. Go and show yourself. He advocated for him. That is Matthew 8, 2 to 4. Christ loved him. He did not resent the man. He did not judge him because he is part of the struggle. How will you? You have a child. We talked about this before. You have a child. You know the situation. You conceived a child for nine months. And there is a situation. And you knew this child very well. To know is to love. So Jesus Christ knows you more than you do. You know this child. There is a struggle. You've been paid. You sleepless night sleepless night for god's sake my mom my mom in nigeria right now is in the room at the age of 19 she's still praying sitting down in front of the sacred altar to pray for all her children and you think she will stand with somebody or people judging father andrew never never she will never she will never because no matter what I'm going through, she is part of the struggle. Morally, financially, everything, she is part of the struggle. She will never judge. She will never, she will never, she will never condemn. She is my son. I love him. I love him. She is my son. And that is the situation. It's about love. It's about love. In a practical way, service. It's about love. And it's very easy, you see, to sit down and gossip and finish somebody, destroy the person. Don't sit down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you massacre the person. It's very easy because there is no connection. Because, but let them bring the story of your own brother and sister. You remain quiet because you are involved. It's about love. We love. 
We will never judge any man. We will appreciate them. We will love them and help them and support them. And do not take advantage of your weakness. Your story is now what we are now to strengthen our relationship. Do not put up your story. We are enjoying from your weakness, you see, and then we grow in our relationship. It's unfortunate. And that is what Jesus Christ is encouraging us. From the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. It is the quality of the heart that will determine what we do. So Christ is our teacher. He teaches by what he does. This is what he does. This is what he does. In unbloody man, the bread. He broke, that is death. The wine, separated, that is death. What he does, what he says. The liturgy of the word, the liturgy of the Eucharist. Whatever he says is what he does. Whatever he does is what he says. Is the truth. That is what. If, if he tells you to be compassionate, he will do it. He's the first to do it. So he does it. He does it. And that is the way he teaches. So, the second reading helps us to have a better understanding of this. Thanks to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. This is the resource. If there is any problem, that is the resource. Never to give up on the life of Jesus and to embrace the resurrection. If resurrection is not true, then you can go home and say, Father, you are wrong. But if it is true and resurrection is true, that is the power. That is the power. He never takes it back. It's a gift. It's already given to humanity. And God has already give, put himself at a risk for your sake and for my sake. So you are not judged. Look at him. You are not condemned. If you are judged, you won't see him on the cross. If you are condemned, you will see him. You won't see him on the cross. And he has told us by this that there is nothing I cannot, there is nothing that I cannot do for you. So let us be grateful. That is the psalm today. So if anyone desires to be at the service of life, if you want to lead, if you want to help to support life, Christ is our model. Christ is the principle. Is the way, the truth, and the life. So I have narrated this story here before when I was in seminary and during the mass the priest preached so well and you know he talked about the, who is my neighbor. You are my neighbor, you are hungry, you are thirsty, you know, you have to give order. And after the mass there was a break before going to the second mass. And a chorister went to the rectory and, did, and requested for a bottle of water. And the cook gave that water. And father was like, What? What are you doing with father's? You know, this bottle is meant for this bottle is meant, this water is meant for the priest. And the woman, in case you have forgotten, father, you just said this not too long ago at the homily that when you are thirsty, you should give water to somebody, you see? And the question is this, who really did the woman? It is the woman. It is very easy to feel so great, you know, an expert on the word of God. You know, to talk about the word of God, to think, but put it into action. Put it into action. Teach by what you do. It is not just being an expert on the word of God. It's not just to be to be dictating instruction. It's not just to be a Pharisee, you know. Yeah, I am a professor. Put it into action. Let the value be equal to what is professed. Let what is professed be equal to the value, and that is it. And the response of the woman showed there was no connection. It was resistance. It was reaction. So it means there was no connection, and it's, yes, it is embarrassing. It has to be embarrassing. And is it true? Yes, it is true. And that is life. And that is really life. So it could be me. It could be you. And you expert in the law. What to you? What to you because you know people down with bodies they cannot carry. And you yourselves will not lift finger to heaven. That is, and that is Christ. Look, Gospel of St. Luke. The priest ended up judging the woman 
The priest said, you are wrong. You shouldn't have done that. That is judgment. He's already judged. And the woman said, no. No. Do the right thing. The response of the woman indicated resistance, reaction, and showed no permission. How do we value lives? How do we value people? Is it as a partner or as an expert? So let us bring it to the dynamic as, as, as a partner. You are my partner in this. You are a friend. Jesus Christ is always there for us. We need to have Jesus as the Lord of our lives so that before we can help others. So the gap is, is it possible for a blind to lead a blind? No. We need Jesus. We need a compassionate heart. We need to be strong. We need to be like the teacher. We need to be well trained, to be guided into the full stature of Jesus Christ so that we can help others. That is what is missing. This one is there. It is Ash Wednesday. We have to prepare. This is a time that we ask the good Lord to heal. To heal us. From those times we were supposed to be compassionate and we did not. That to fortify us with your presence. So that we too can follow you. We look at you. Pay attention. Be focused on you. So that we can have a compassionate heart. If you are a doctor, if you are a lawyer, if you are an engineer. Yes, you have been blessed. You have the gift. You have the skill. You are also a child of God. What are you bringing into the room? Bring Christ. Go along with Jesus. Do not be ashamed of him. Whatever we are doing, we have to be sincere with those we are working for or working with. Bring the light of Christ into the darkness that is in the room. So that we can illumine the place and people will say, wow, this is awesome. Because it is challenging. It is inviting, it is welcoming and it brings happiness and fulfillment and that is the way we can grow together and that is the way we can have the heart to pray for the people in Ukraine so that at this time the good Lord will take absolute control and there will be peace in the world, peace in our homes and at work to Christ our Lord Amen, Amen. I believe in one God, the Father the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father and before all ages, God from God, light from light, begotten from to God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified on that conscious pilot. He suffered death that was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to God the living and the dead and the skin of the earth away. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son who is the Father and the Son is our Lord and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Graceful for God's wisdom, passed on to us through the words of Scripture. We now turn to the front, to the front of all wisdom with our needs and the needs of the world. For the church, that it may always bear good fruit, giving generously to all those in need, drawing in the curious in question, and demonstrating to the world the store of goodness in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord be For world leaders, that they may be guided by wisdom of God as they make decisions that affect their citizens and their neighbors. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, yeah. That the coming Lenten season may be a fruitful one for Christians everywhere, a time of repentance and renewal for each of us individually and for the world at large. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, yeah. 
for those who will be welcomed into the church at Easter, that they may grow in wisdom and resolve during these final weeks of preparation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are suffering or are sick on account of COVID-19, that the message of God's love may bring them comforted in distress and inspire others to provide care and understanding. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the souls lost through the coronavirus, that they will find eternal rest and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our All the prayers that we hold in the sounds of our hearts, all of our intentions, spoken and unspoken, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, we pray for the good health of Larry Bennett, Yvonne Anderson, Jacqueline Barker Figueroa, Gretchen Bolson McCall, Joyce White, Angie O'Keefe, Ke Kevin Kingery, Lamar Sellers, Eusebia Almonte, and Beth Petty. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Generous God, in making us in your image, you have given us capacity for wisdom. Help us to realize that wisdom and apply it in our world so that we may bear good fruit. Grant this to Christ our Lord. Amen.
sacrifice unto men for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Amen. O God, who provide gifts to be offered to your name and count our oblations as signs of our desire to serve you with devotion, we ask of your mercy that what you grant as a source of merit may also help us to attain merit's reward. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Throw in the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with us in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. So that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may manage to be coerced to eternal life. I may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of God, and the glory of Jesus, now and Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant peace and unity in accordance with your will who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with you. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Nourished by your seven gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you feed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us be seated for the announcement. Good morning again, church. Good morning. As you all know, we are approaching the season of Lent, and this Wednesday marks Ash Wednesday. We will have a mass and distribution of ashes this Wednesday, March 2nd, at 12 noon in English, and at 7.30 p.m. in Spanish, right here in the church. Also during Lent, we have our weekly Stations of the Cross every Friday. It will begin this Friday at 6.30 p.m. in English. And because of the COVID-19 protocols, we will not have the different ministries and groups leading the stations this year. Participation will be by social distancing in the church. We also have it in Spanish every Wednesday at 7 p.m., immediately followed by Mass. Thank you to those who participated in our fuel drive this year so far. Our church has been providing a warm environment for worship, and we appreciate your generosity. If you have not participated, there are fuel drive envelopes in the back of the church. The REACH program for recruiting excellence in academic for Catholic high schools is a free educational and leadership program that prepares students to earn scholarships to Regis High School, as well as other leading Catholic high schools in New York City. It is open to students who possess a good, superior academic and leadership potential based on fourth and fifth grade report cards. If you know any student who qualifies, please speak to Mrs. Denise Hunter or Father Victor. Also, for a few years ago, you remember our Renew and Rebuild campaign in our parish. Through this program, we have been able to raise funds for key capital projects. Our campaign experienced tremendous success. On behalf of Father Victor, we would like to give a genuine, genuine heartfelt thanks to all the families and individuals that helped make our Renew and Rebuild campaign a success. We thank you for your tremendous display of generosity and may God bless you all. And thank you and have a great week. Let us rise for the blessing.
Thank mm -hmm. you.